Hi everyone, I'm Anne-Marie and I'm Sally and welcome to your ice assembly for this week. Now this week we are finishing up our series exploring through the life of Moses. We're going to see some incredible things. The Hebrew people are finally free but God has got one more thing that he's going to do which is just incredible to help his people as they begin their new beginnings, their new life as God's chosen people. But before we get into today's story, I have a game for us to play, so we are going to shift over next door to the secondary team office, where I have set up the Nintendo Switch. Exciting! Exciting! Let's go! Okay, alright, uh, hi everyone, um, here we are um, in our Minecraft world that Sally and I and one of our other friends play on quite a lot, and uh, behind us um, I have made a maze for Sally to, to run. So uh, so Sally, okay, I'm going to go up, 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 up there, there. Okay. Um, to my viewing platform so that I can see, <laughs> I can see your progress and maybe help you if you get stuck. All you have to do is uh, find your way through the maze. So right. um, here I am up on the viewing thing. Let's do it. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. okay. Right. Okay, in. whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Let's see how she does. Right, my sense of direction is very bad. <laughs> and uh, Anne-Marie can tell you this, I can get lost Yeah. Uh, in my own house. Yeah, this is true. It's true, she can. Uh, but, okay, oh, that's you, the way you, <laughs> you found the way in! Yay! I should tell you, I'll what? give you, well, I, I can give you a hint if you want. Uh, um, I'll, I'll try for a little, go on. Go okay, on. so you will be attempting to get to the opposite diagonal corner from where you entered. That is definitely going to help me because I can picture that in my mind perfectly. <laughs> uh, that's a dead end. Run, 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 run. Oh, see, if I was being sneaky, I've got torches, but I'm not going to do this. Ah. I could do the old Theseus golden uh, thread uh, in, your, in your mythology, mm -hmm. everyone watching. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I feel that would be cheating. Uh, I might resort to it <laughs> if I get too lost. Okay, it's okay. Good. There okay. aren't there aren't really any rules apart from find find your way across. So I might need to in a minute. Just to show me that I've been somewhere. Yeah. Okay. 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 There okay. are already oh. some torches around on the outside oh, um, because I didn't want creepers to spawn I, I there. I appreciate. Ah! <laughs> I'm really good at finding the way in. I can give you another hint at some uh, point. A good maze strategy. Is it follow a wall? Yes. Yeah. I have heard this hint and this strategy. <laughs> I'm not very good at following, but I might give it a shot. If I find the exit again or the entry, oh, have I been there before? You have not been there before. <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's quite fun watching from above. I feel like a little mouse in a maze. Oh, oh, oh. I think I was doing so well. Um, you, you have made progress. You, that's good. It's good. I do this in real mazes as well. We want to play the game of tag through a real maze. Ooh, that, a lot of fun. that does not help. I recommend it if you're ever in a maze, in a, in a not too big a maze, because you don't actually want to get lost. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was one of the most fun things I've done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can place torches if you wish to okay. show where you've been. All right, I've been here. I've been here. This is this is this is looking familiar. Is this? No, you're okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. No, that's got me going around in a circle. <laughs> I've been there. Well, I can tell you, you are making good progress. Okay, that, that's that's encouraging. Yeah, you're doing really well. I've been there. Oh. oh, that was a lot of fun, Ben's there. Oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's quite twisty over there. It's very twisty, I like it. Oh, okay, I've been there. What? Just for funsies. I don't want to make too many noises <gasps> to give her too many clues. Oh, oh, oh! Yay! Yay! You did it! Yay! Good job! I'm going to have a celebratory jacket potato. Oh. The best kind. Oh, I can't, I've eaten, I've eaten too many. Oh, hello, oh, squid. I feel like I want a squid. squid. That was fun. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, you Marie. did. Really, really oh. good finding your way through the maze. Well done. I'll give you a wave from over here. Hi. 
Yeah, I've actually, yeah, I'm, I'm the back platform. <laughs> I was going to come and meet you. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. That's really cool. Isn't it cool? There you go. You found your way through the maze. Hey, so Sally made your way through the maze. Eventually. Yes. Yeah. You did really well. That was really good. I was worried it might be a little bit too easy or too difficult, but I think yeah, that's right. That was just right. That's good. Did you have any moments where you thought you might be stuck in there forever? When I found the entrance twice, ah, yes. uh, I thought I could just run in the opposite direction, mm. but I'd never get the other way to the maze, I didn't uh, think. No, well, you, you did, you did, you did. Despite finding the entrance twice, <laughs> you, you definitely, <laughs> you still managed to find it in the end. end. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the whole reason why I made this maze for you was to help us think about how sometimes our life can feel a little bit like a maze and we might feel a little bit turned around, we might feel like we're keep going around in circles and finding the way in over and over again, uh, but sometimes we might feel a bit stuck in life. We might not know which way to go or we might not see the way forward and that's exactly what happened to the Hebrew people in today's story. They found themselves free from Egypt but a bit stuck in a bit of a dangerous position, so we're going to see what happens in the story today. The Hebrew people were leaving Egypt, but rather than taking the direct route, God took them the long way round so they could avoid any battles with other people. To lead them the way they should go, God sent a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire to guide them by night. And so, by following those pillars, the people followed God. But back in Egypt, Pharaoh and the officials once again changed their minds. They hardened their hearts and decided to chase after the Hebrews to make them slaves again. So God led his people to the Red Sea. He placed a pillar of cloud and fire between his people and the Egyptians who were chasing after them in their chariots so that the Egyptians couldn't come near the Hebrew people. But the Hebrews were stuck, with the Egyptians behind them and the Red Sea in front of them. There was no path, no road, and no escape. The people were afraid. They began wondering if maybe they had been better off as slaves in Egypt, rather than die there in the wilderness. But God told Moses to hold his hand out over the sea. And as he did so, the waters were driven back by a strong wind that blew through the night. The waters of the sea were heaped up on either side, leaving a path through the sea for the Hebrew people to cross. The people walked through the waters along the path that God had made. But the Egyptians followed after them. So God made the Egyptians' chariots get stuck in the mud and the silt. And when the Hebrews were safely across on the other side, God told Moses to hold his hand over the waters once more, and the sea came crashing down, washing the Egyptian army away. At last, the Hebrew people were free from slavery in Egypt. They were at the start of their journey to the land that God had promised to give them. It was another new beginning, one where they would keep learning about God and what it meant for them to be God's chosen people. Just when it looked like there was nowhere for the Hebrew people to go, God made a way for them, and in a way that no one could have guessed or expected. Now, I'm not suggesting that we all now go down to, or is it Dover, and try and cross the sea to get to France. Uh, this is a one-time thing. But it was a special lesson for the Hebrew people to show them that God was there to lead them, to guide them, and to protect them. And this wasn't the first time that they'd have to remember this lesson. If you read further on in the story of Moses, you'll see there were many times when the Hebrew people had to trust God to make a way for them. So by now, your new beginning might not be feeling quite so new as it was in the beginning of September. You might be feeling quite settled into your new routine, whether that's a new class, a new school, a new hobby, whatever it might be. So even though you might be used to your new beginning, there might still be some challenges and some obstacles along the way. 
And this story from the life of Moses can help us to see that when we can't see a way through, when there are challenges and obstacles and things that seem to get in the way, Christians know that we can rely on God to help make a way through for us. Christians believe that God will lead, guide and protect us in just the same way that God did for the Hebrew people all those years ago. Christians believe that God is the best guide that we can have and that means that he knows the right way for us to go. But also, when things seem impossible, Christians believe that God is able to make circumstances change and make a new way possible. So that means when we feel afraid or stuck or we don't know where to go, Christians believe we can always pray and ask God for help. So why don't we do that now? Let's continue thinking about how all these things might affect us and who leads and guides us as we have a time to reflect and pray and talk to God as well. As we finish off this assembly and this series, you might like to remember all of the challenges that Moses has been through. Think of all the different new beginnings he's had. Think about the people who were there to help Moses. People like his brother, Aaron, and his father-in-law, Jethro. Think about the people who are there for you in your new beginnings. Who helps you through challenges and obstacles? Who encourages you and helps you to be brave? Who leads and guides you onto the right path? Think about how you can be there for others. Can you speak up for people who need help? Can you use your passion for what's right to help others in a gentle way? Let's pray. God who leads, guides and protects. We're sorry that we forget that you're there for us. We get caught up with how impossible things seem that we end up forgetting that the Bible says that all things are possible with you. Please help us as we continue moving forward into our new beginnings. Give us courage to face the changes, courage to face the challenges, and help us to trust you to make a way through the impossible things we come across. Amen.